Good evening, YouTube. So, Banggood.com at it again. They've got this awesome little floodlight to me. We're out in the shed doing a bit of uh, messing around, a bit of work out here, tidying stuff up and having a play. I really need to mention how good this little beast is. I've had it for a couple of days now. Um, but taking it to work, showed the workmates, all that kind of thing. It is an awesome LED floodlight. Now, is it really aluminium or is it just plastic? Plastic. Looks like it's aluminium though. That ring there must be. Anyhow, this rugged, tough looking little beast with its fold out stand. Now, the reason this is interesting, four 18650s go in it. So I've got Samsung 30Qs in there, they're all about 3000 milliamp hours. Awesome, awesome batteries. Now, the reason you're going to want all this power is because this is a quite a powerful Cobb LED. I don't know if it's 30 watts or not. We will test it on the power supply and see what it is in another day. But uh, as you can see, it's got quite a, quite a nice chipset in there. The other reason you want that much power, it's got onboard USB charging. So you can actually charge the 18650s and the Lantern off a micro USB charger. Or you can charge your phone or other mobile device, GoPro, other lights, whatever, off the USB port included. So you can charge your USB gear. Uh, you've got a green light when it's charged and a uh, red light when it's charging when you plug it in. And it comes with a micro USB cord. It's got a simple push button. First push is the brightest setting, a less setting, about half, a much lower setting, which is great for, you know, if you're out camping or whatever. And then you've got an emergency light setting, probably not ideal in Australia, you wouldn't want to be using that in public. Uh, the police would frown upon that, other countries in the world probably not such a big deal. Great for getting people's attention. And yeah, that flashes in a pattern. The reflector is absolutely amazing. I'm just turn that light bar off. See this circular pattern? Awesome reflector, really punches out a great deal of light. It's horribly dark in the shed. Right now without it. Um, we've got a head torch on, we'll get rid of the head torch. This is the shed wall. Beautiful and bright. I will see if I can get my hands on a lux meter. We'll test see how many lumens it's got. But yeah. That's what we're talking about. So, these little beasts, if you have a look in the top of the video description, I've got an affiliate link there for you to buy one. They are about 35 Australian dollars. They don't come with that N650s. I recommend putting good ones in there. Uh, it's just, just an air freight thing, I reckon. The reason they don't come with anything in them. Uh, I'll show you the USB. So I've got my awesome little USB meter from uh, IC station. I will uh, drop a link to that in the video description as well. As you'll see, 5 volts out coming. Just like that. Green light registering that it's running the uh, running the USB output. Yeah, very cool thing, very simple circuitry, there's nothing and the USB turns off if you're not using it, that's, that's cool. It's not going to sit there and waste power, so it's not an always powered USB, so you probably need to charge your phone or whatever off it, rather than just let it sit there. That's where we're at, links to this is in the video description. Um, yeah, I reckon I'm going to buy a couple more, a few of my workmates thought it was cool. The old man thinks it's a good thing as well. That is aluminium. It's shiny. Okay, that is an aluminium front. So that's obviously where a heat sinking is. That actually does get quite warm there, um, which is a good thing because it means it's actually a high powered LED. If uh, you get an LED that it claims to be 30 watts, 50 watts, 100 watts, whatever, and it doesn't produce any heat at all, it's obviously not that good of an LED. So yeah, obviously that's not how you base 
the entire assessment of an LED, but yeah. Nice and compact. As you can see, it's not, not all that big. That's the Samsung Galaxy S8. So it's uh, not a huge device. But rugged overmolds on the sides, so that helps it st stand up. Multi position stand so you can stand up tall, stand up facing a roof, or even hang it on a hook. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Go and subscribe to both my YouTube channels, they'll be over this side of the screen. There'll be more videos and reviews from banggood.com. Thank you, banggood.com, for sending me this out to uh, play with and test. And uh, if you want one, there's an affiliated link in the video description. Thanks heaps for watching. Links to uh, all the affiliates.